All right, boys. Here we go. We're playing a guy who's 11 and 8. He's one of the better players in the league, from what I understand. His only losses have come to players that are ahead of him on the standings, minus two guys. We're on the road once again, going to make it. What are we going to make it here? We're going to make it 12 and 2 on the year. He's going to take us to Texas because he's a genuine human being. We got John Lester on the mound. It looks like he's going to be throwing Edison Volquez, or he might throw Freeland in his first start. All right. He's got Tim Anderson. We've seen him before. Willie Calhoun. Not a bad team overall. Will Myers. The good thing is, is that I have a righty on the mound. He's got Salvi. We traded Salvi to this guy. So let's see. Let's see what's going to be cooking here. I mean, look at Avila's average in Solaire's and Merrifield's and Dozier's. Those are nuts. Afternoon baseball here on Playing the at 1 p.m. He's 11 and 8. I'm 11 and 2. Looking to make a 12 and 2 Kansas as we head to Globe Royals Field here in Texas Arlington, Ranger. Texas. Daytime baseball here on the show is coming up now. Coming. And he gets Mondesi is going to launch to right field. What a start. Mondesi back. leads off that with a home gone. run. A That's going to give it up to Jesus Christ, game. Hunter Dozier. To keep his hot hitting up. That Jorge is, is going to absolutely demolish that ball out to left. Oh my goodness. Gone. We're up 2 nothing in the first. He does Don't have the shift on. Tries to go a bit the zone. Big Al is going to rifle that one through the hole for a base hit. And he continues and his absolutely torrid hit. hitting. What a trade that I made. Rifle that one through the hole. O'Hearn keeps up his hot hitting pace. And that's going to bring up Michael Franco. Michael is going to launch that one out to center. I doubt it's... Oh, it is going to get down. It's going to get over the head of Eddie Rosario in center. It's going to score probably at least two. O'Hearn's rounding third. That's going to be a close play. Never mind. We're up 4 nothing in the first inning. Michael Franco comes through just like I said. We needed somebody to... We're up 4 nothing in the first. Second, Gordon going to go for his first home Rounded run on the team the here. Get baseline. past him. Field Good play by Grandal at first base. We do sneak out of the first inning with four runs, and now we head to the bottom of the first. 50 on the mound. I forgot about that. I thought I had a righty on the mound this entire time. Fly ball out toward Anderson's going off field. on the left field, and we start off with out and number Gordon's one. John Lester, of course, starting his second down. game as a Royal. He's going to lift right that one out to center, field. and we get out Phillips number two. Two pitches, two down. outs for John Lester. Hard Run on us last time two. we played him. Hit and he's going to laser it to short. One hard hit ball this inning. Three the pretty well struck balls, time, but he gets three outs. John Lester's out of the first. We're going to look to put up some more runs. Bring up Brett Phillips. He, of course, not hitting as well as he had and been, but right as I say that, line. he is going to... He probably should have been out there. He's going to get on to first base. Mondesi now his average back now, above 300. Mondesi, oh, he and he crushes that right one down the right field line. I really need Mondesi to get back going again. Although I really don't know if he ever has been, Nothing to be honest. Here it comes. And I swung at a sinker and was way Go late on it, thinking it was going to be another round. another changeup. All right. Jesus is going to line that right one center. into the gap. It's going to get the past his right fielder. We're going to make it first and third with one out. I really thought that was going to get down a lot better than it did. I understand why. Oh, my goodness. Ah, boys. Boys. In is Jorge Soler, and he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. It's a high fly ball headed for the left-hand corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Or he's going to launch that one out to right. Of course, it's not going to get down. Two very well hit balls and a ball that was hit about 900 feet, but foul. And we don't score in the top of the second. We hit the bottom of the second. And just late. He's gonna, he's gonna line that one to right field. Perfect. Lester has eight pitches and four outs. Oh, isn't this irony? And the guy we traded him for is pitching against him, and what do you know? He's gonna rifle one into the gap against us. Salvi making it look like he just left, and he's still in a royal blue, a royal blue uniform. Fortunately, he's not anymore. 
a lot of really good moves with the team he had. Yasmani going to ground one to first. Lester somehow, real life Lester does not even throw that ball that way, but that's all right. Change up low, swing, ground it to Jesus. Jesus almost makes a yellow throw, but makes a green throw. We're out of the second. You have to hit the Salvi. That hurts a little bit, but it's okay. We head to the third. Big Al's up 2-0. and Big Al's going to launch that one to center. Holy moly, he got a lot of that ball. I think Rosario is going to get there. He hit it about 390 feet to dead center. But unfortunately, it went nowhere. Gilder. And also grounding out to third with Michael. All right. So we are just right back in pure team form there. With two lineouts and a ground out to the third baseman with Michael Franco. Would have never guessed. Another large John is, is out for his next inning of work. He's going to get a one pitch... One, down. one pitch out. This dude loves swinging on the first pitch, and it and, and it works for me. 38 with Jerks and Profar. He launches right. that ball the right. That was a good swing. Solaire's going to get there, he thankfully. Another the one pitch. Another first pitch out. One pitch out. Cutter up and in. We get him to pop the it up. Left Rather large. John is through the and third we'll inning on only 21 pitches, and of course inside. the one hit to Salvi. But who else would I give up a hit to? Unfortunately, Gordo is going to lead it off with a single on a really not a very good swing, but I feel like 90% of Gordo's hits be come off of either perfect perfects or those not very good swings. All right, Big Dick Brett. Big Dick Brett in the box now. BDB. BDB launches one to right center. Rosario is going to get there. Wow, the common fielding out in center field somehow finds a way to get to a ball roaming in the gap. And BDB, Big Dick Brett, is unfortunately retired. Mondesi back under 300 again for his average. Let's we'll see if we can bump that up here with a nice little line shot into the gap here. Hopefully let Gordo use his legs for his 23 speed. Come on, Raul. My opponent apparently walked away from his controller. He is in the other room grabbing Cheez-Its. He's also folding his laundry behind him. He's pissing. He, his dog ate his controller. Um, something's going on. I really hope I didn't lag out. I lost connection with my opponent. It didn't say a server error occurred, so I think that means my guy lagged out. If it didn't, I'm going to be pissed because I was up 4 nothing in a game and got a loss. I've been disconnected from the show online. And as you can see, we are going to end up with a loss here. I already know. It doesn't matter. Me over. Jesus fucking Christ, man. In a game that we would have won easily. Easily, as you can see there. Rangers B underscore eating underscore U22 defeat the Royals 0 to 4 meaning he had 0 and I had 4 and he beat me Explain to me please how the fuck that works but as you can see We are halfway through our schedule. We have 15 games remaining So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go look at our player stats here we're going to start with position players, and we're going to give out MVP awards and all that stuff at the end of this video to kind of to kind of give it a a better a better vibe. So, the silver slugger on our team goes to Ryan O'Hearn, most home runs on the team with 9. Clap him up. He also is our RBI leader, so we can clap him up as well. Um, the hit leader goes to Whit Merrifield with 21 hits on the year. Just behind him, of course, is Jorge Soler, uh, Hunter Dozier, uh, Ryan O'Hearn's right there with him, Michael Franco's right there with him. Uh, believe it or not, Alex Avila is already there, and he's played in four games. Um, yes. So, fastest player. Nobody wins that award. Dumbest runner, Alex Gordon, got thrown out. All right. Um, walk champion, Jorge Soler, most patient hitter. There you go. Most strikeout prone, it's apparently Hunter Dozier and Jorge Soler. Highest average, can't give it to Alex Avila, going to give it to Jorge Soler. Also, Ryan McBroom, although he has only two at-bats, but that's all right. He's biggest bench bat. Um, OBP, OBP leaders, Ryan O'Hearn with a one point, or OPS leaders, sorry, 
with a 1.730 OPS. Jorge Soler not by far behind him, and Whit Merrifield, of course, with a 1.5. Dozier with the 1.4. Avila with a 1.53. That's nuts. Total base champion goes to Witt with 48. Um, lefty at bats. Most lefty at bats goes to Brett Phillips. Um, speaking of Brett Phillips, um, most surprising player goes to Brett Phillips right here. With, of course, the 400 average, the 447 OBP, the three home runs, if I remember right. This man has hit three, yeah, three home runs, seven RBIs, two triples, two doubles. That's crazy. All right. Um, most most accuable, accuable trade acquisition is, of course, Alex Avila. The man is hitting, what is he hitting right now? 600 with a 933 slugging and a 1.533 OPS. In how many how many games has he played? He's played in five games and he's nine for fifteen. Two doubles and a home run. That's nuts. Alright. Anything else we gotta cover here? Um don't think so. Alright, going over to the pitching. Starting pitcher, best starting pitcher. Danny Duffy before I traded him away. Bam, right there. Brady Singer before I traded him away. John Lester is our best trade acquisition. We're gonna see if Odorizzi can bounce back in his second start. Um, Junis hasn't been terrible. Brad Keller hasn't been awful. Junis and Brad Keller have been pretty terrible. But I mean, considering we only have one pitcher with over a... Two pitchers with over a four ERA, we'll take that when we're pitching with the Kansas City Royals. Relief pitching, most reliable reliever has got to go to Craig Stammen, Scott Blewett, Heath Fillmeyer. Um, has pitched .2 innings, has pitched 1.2, has pitched zero. All right. Um, most reliable lever has probably got to go to Trevor Rosenthal. Um, best trade acquisition by far has been Craig Stammen with how he's pitched out of the bullpen so far. Hopefully we can keep that up. Um, biggest disappointment, Josh Stomont. The dude throws 102. He's got outlier, and he was absolute dog shit. Couldn't throw strikes when I needed him to throw strikes. Um, couldn't really strike people out with 101 on All-Star. Doesn't matter. Um... Reliever that I'm willing to throw into trash situations even when I know that he's going to struggle just because he's the only guy I have left, Scott Barlow. Um, I threw him into so many situations where his energy wasn't full. Did I deserve for his ERA to be kind of high? Yeah, I do. Because I've thrown him into a lot of very high-pressure situations. He hasn't really deserved it. All right. So, of course... um. Really, that's going to do it. I don't think I can go look at the team stats around the league. Actually, uh, no. We, we're not going to stop right there. And we're not going to go look at the stats of everybody else. Because we're here today to talk about these two trades that I made with the both the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. We ended up getting Lance Lynn, Armand Marquez, Daniel Murphy for literally nothing. And then you're going to see later that I ended up trading Marquez and Murphy for Merrill Kelly, Mitch Haniger, and a right-handed reliever. Not trading Hunter Dozier, thankfully, and not trading Odorizzi, thankfully. But yeah, we're going to hear, we're here to talk about this whole league situation because um, nobody's playing anymore. Um, this is... First off, I just want to say um, thank you to everybody tuning in. This has been the craziest month I've had on my channel, and it's not even been that crazy. It's been like, what, uh, 15 subscribers this month. That's pretty good. I'm happy with how the views are. No vi no video I've posted has been under pretty much 10, 15 views for forever. So I thank all of you that are watching, even though it's corny as fuck. And my YouTube channel's dead. Don't care. I'm glad you guys are watching. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. That being said, I don't know how much more of this specific content there's going to be. Because nobody in this goddamn league is playing. I literally have five messages sent out to the five dudes that are on right now as I'm editing this and then hold on let me look let me check my phone real quick I have zero responses zero responses on do they want to play game all five of them are on people have begun leaving the league which is really unfortunate also side note I'm 14 and 3 now in this league as you just saw um I played the game against CPU because like I said people are leaving people are leaving the league I'm just like damn all right side note I want to get to the main point of this video. I started another league, as you can see there, called the Any Brave 2 YouTube League. Um, I Pretty much all the active players from this current league I'm in that you guys are seeing right now, um, we're in there. Um, then I had to go to a baseball tournament. And apparently, 
nobody in the league understood a we need 30 teams and B, I'm going to be gone over the weekend, so I'm not going to be able to start it till I get back. Nobody understood that. They continued to message me over and over and over again in the weekend, and I constantly said, I will start it when I get back on Monday. I can't right now. Just let me get back, and I'll start the league. They're bitching to me this entire time about starting this damn league. And I'm not attacking these guys, but I'm just saying, talking to me this entire time about starting the damn league. I get back, we don't even got 30 teams yet! <laughs> We don't even fucking have 30 teams yet. Oh, man. That was great. And then we do get 30 teams. I advance to the regular season, and then there's like five or six people that leave. So I was going to spring that all on you after this season hopefully ended with the Royals, after we eventually hopefully win the World Series here if the league keeps going. I was going to spring out on you that I was starting one with the Braves because any Brave 2. No, man. Oh, well. It doesn't matter at this point. I just, I don't know how much longer, or how many more episodes, or how weekly this even, the series is even going to be, and for me, I'm like, damn, I'm trying to continue uploading this, because it was great for my channel, dude. Like, I've never had this much fun making videos in my life. Never had this much fun making videos in my life. When I know I actually put them out, and I have people that will comment on them, and they subscribe, and it's all that, because that's, that's, it's not what I do it for, but I enjoy it. It, it. It's something that I really enjoy doing is make stuff that people enjoy watching. Like, that's just, that's fun to me. And the fact that nobody in this league is playing, so I have literally no more content from this league to upload. This is literally the last game I've played, and these trades, these trades happen like three days, four days, five days after the gameplay that you guys are watching. They happen today as I'm editing and uploading this. I just don't know what else to do. I needed to talk. I need some background knowledge. Stuff like that. Background info, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. I'm just, I'm upset. I'm going to try to find another league to play in. Because honestly, the leagues are the best source of content in this damn thing. Because you play one game, six innings, and you're boom. I've got a fucking video to upload. I'm going to try and find another league. I don't know if it's going to be a Diamond Dynasty one. I need to find something just, just to play. <laughs> so that way I can keep pumping content out like you guys want to see. But yeah, right now in my Any Brave 2 YouTube League, we have like 10 CPU teams. So if you're out there and you want to join, hit me up. I'll send you an invite because we need more people to join the league. But that being said, uh, once again, thank you all for watching these videos. The support on these has been amazing. Um, I really enjoy everything that's going on. Happy with the channel. There's going to be some more rank seasons coming out soon. But uh, if you don't enjoy, hit a like on the video. Sorry that this video is going to be like 17 minutes long. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the hopeful next one.